Well, today is an extra special day, my friends. You've already read the title. You've already seen the thumbnail. In fact, you know I have been needing one of these for quite some time. Thank you, FedEx, for giving yourself some free promotion on the show. Also, for Customs letting me know that you ripped into this already and had a look, keeping my country safe. Hopefully not breaking my gear, which I've had happen before, but hey, it has had to travel all the way from China. I took a punt on something on a website called AliExpress. Everybody always asks me, where do I get all of my construction equipment? It's a variety of places, uh, but AliExpress is one of them. Be careful there. I've been screwed before, so they do have some good buyer protection, uh, but the people that are there selling, some of them can be shady. I'm not saying that they are, but uh, you can see it for yourself. Now, this one. <laughs> this one I've got great hopes and dreams for we're gonna open this up this crating that they send is amazing I would like to say that the shipping on this only took about a, a week and a half to two weeks over the Christmas holidays even to get here from China so really not too bad stick a screwdriver in there flip these tabs up these metal tabs actually hold this crate fairly secure Hey, can we get this straight? This isn't a weed tree, it's a Guyana chestnut tree. I know you're all saying it right now, but it's also known as a money tree. It was a gift to me. And before all y'all go saying, oh, it's just another one you got for free. That's not true at all, actually. None of this stuff I get for free. Come on. In fact, this one cost me about 2,600 USD plus shipping. And I live in Canada. You guys think that's expensive in the US. For me, that's about $3,400 here. But definitely required for the studio. Yeah, these are decals. And I didn't want a typical yellow loader on the show. I didn't need one. I wanted a white one. Look at this, kind of break up the monotony of all the yellow. That's why I have the Cabelco. Ooh yeah, want to be gentle. Oh, it looks so nice. Look at that, you guys can't even see the tire tread, but there it is. Same thing on the uh, extra rock truck that I had purchased. All of our views on our channels are going down, down, down. I don't know if it's the people don't like the content or because ever since I marked uh, not for kids, they have actually put a big kibosh on my channel, so I thought, eh, I'll buy these items while I can. Have a good time with the guys while we can. Look at that, hey? It's absolutely beautiful. I've been on YouTube for, geez, over a decade making amazing RC videos. I have to tell you right now, this is one of the highlights of my career right now. Let's take this out so you can have a look at it. It is so heavy. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. There you go, Crazy Joe, all the boys at YouTube Gold. We're in business now. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at this. These are powder coated. Look at the shine on these forks. Rookie, I know you're watching right now, buddy. These are a little bit longer than the forks that came on our tracked loader. And look at this beautiful machine. There is so much to look at right now. It's a little bit hard to absorb when you're just seeing it on camera. Plus, I am discovering this with you. Look at the bucket. It's actually a rock bucket. You got some open area on top. All of it powder coated spring-loaded pin removal system, which actually just leaves a flat plate, which you're able to hook and click on the forks or the bucket itself. Those are huge teeth. Those teeth are not replaceable, or it looks like they are separate individual pieces, but they're not individually screwed in. One thing that catches me off guard right away is the enormous size of this piston. That's what she said, because this is uh, large and in charge. Like if I take my finger, like that is 
beyond normal. That's <laughs> That looks like it can take some serious pressure. I love that it's got the braided hose with actual spring on the outside, right? So it's not going to have any rub damage at all. I noticed the pistons on the inside are just slightly smaller than that large ram piston on top here. This is normally uh, has two because I do have another wheel loader. It's quite aged now, it was from RC four wheel drive. We'll do a comparison video of the two eventually, of course. Look at this, get in there. I love the cab opens. This is a 3D printed seat. Look at the attention to detail. They even put the driver's hand on the control stick there. Close this. This is the this is all metal cab, I think. Feels all metal. Metal on top. This is 3D printed for the exhaust stack and for the air. Um, I believe this is the air intake. But everything else is absolutely beautiful. This is based on or like uh, it's supposed to be a Komatsu, a WA470 wheel loader. Completely hydraulic for those that are wondering. Maybe you've never seen the show before. Welcome if you're new. This is a, a, a large beast that I've been waiting and I, I had to take a risk on it because I've, I've had some models, if you guys may know, that didn't work out so well on AliExpress. They're good, but they could be so much better. But this one I did so much, re so much research on. Look at that. This is the actual pump right here. The pumps, this is the pump out, outrunner motor. And it actually moves all the hydraulic fluid on the inside. This is where the battery will sit. It's got an XT60 connector on it. Everything is in there, including supposedly a sound kit and a light kit. You can see all the lights are already strung up. Fire extinguisher, of course, just in case you don't want to have a fire on board the new loader. Does it have a fan in the back? It doesn't, no need for a fan. Full size, full size servos. There is your pressure gauge for your hydraulics. That of course being the receiver right there. I'm gonna have to fill it up with a little bit of hydraulic fluid and show you. It does come ready to run. Uh, comes with a fly sky already done up. It weighs ugh, 20 kilograms, maybe 23 kilograms is what I read. Look at the transmission on the inside. Beautifully painted. I don't see any leaking rams. I see seals around the connectors, which is fantastic. I've got great hopes for this. Oh, I even see some rings on the inside for pulling. That's amazing. Now, I know a lot of people will be wondering what I said about views going down and maybe the content isn't as good and maybe even what is COPPA. And if you don't know what the Child Online Protection, uh, Privacy Protection Act is, uh, then that's, that's what you really got to look up. And ever since YouTube has forced us to change the channel, uh, either to be made for children or not for children, and that was their choice, not ours, um, you know, of course, we made we we specified it was not made for children, and thus suffered a huge loss in views as soon as December, uh, or pardon me, as soon as November uh, was getting to a close, and uh, so that's what we're contending with on this side. Don't worry, though. I've been doing this for such a long time, though. We've weathered so many storms the adpocalypse and other things like that. I've got no real intention of going anywhere right now uh, other than just to keep on having fun and entertaining you guys with RC uh, and different ways to do that, ta-da, just like that. And I'm sure you found my way of filling hydraulic oil very interesting, but it was a really great way to stall and tell you the story about COPPA. So regular viewers of the show often write to me and ask me what kind of hydraulic oil do I use? And yes, I am holding a five liter jug of oil even though I only use one fourteenth style machines except for my large uh, skid steer of course. Get the smaller version and then of course this is the bottle that they ask you to fill with a hundred milliliters of that anti-wear hydraulic oil. And on the inside of the, the wheel loader as per the instructions, right there, there is a small screw that you can't see with a small arrow that you can kind of see. Now I gotta take that screw off and then just insert the oil through the tube into the tank down below.
Now, while we're on the topic of, of, you know, my show is not made for kids, I would like to apologize to a lot of the kids that do watch my show. Uh, the government, of course, says, the, the U.S. government says a, a child being anyone under the age of 13 years uh, of age. I know a lot of families watch my show, and then they had to explain to their kids, you know, why, why I was saying that the show wasn't made for them. And it really was because it was YouTube, if you look it up online, YouTube was collecting data uh, on kids watching the YouTube shows across YouTube, trying to, um, you know, target ads towards them to, to help them buy or influence them more, which is illegal. But the fact of the matter is, is RC Adventures has always been here uh, to entertain and inspire and to show the people of the world, no matter what age you are, how amazing this hobby is. So I'm gonna continue on doing that. I had tons of people write to me and tell them, tell me they're not getting notifications or when they watch the videos, it's not showing up in their watched feed. Uh, and so, you know, something's definitely influencing our channel. We're doing our best to combat it. Um, people will say to me, get back to your roots, medic. Start doing more trail stuff, do more RC maintenance. And really my roots, have been over the last decade of just making really cool content uh, in, in all, not just trail trucks, but in construction, in boats, in tanks, in all the cool RCs that normally we couldn't see otherwise, hey? Now, put that screw with the rubber seal around the tank. I'm surprised it's not a breather hole, but it must have that somewhere else in the system. There we are. I'll get a 3S LiPo battery. Well, as I wait for the battery to charge itself up and we get to have an extra look at this, I want to kind of address saying, I know this is an unusual un unboxing video. Normally I just focus on the model itself because it is fantastic. But I also know a lot of people have been having questions about my YouTube channel and people have been wondering about views. Like I said, they've been writing me. And I know the haters or the people that aren't haters but really don't like the content that I've been producing lately are going to say it's your content and I you and I could argue till we're blue in the face I think it's a little bit of everything going into play here I know when I first started YouTube gold people absolutely hated it there was a mass exodus but now YouTube gold seems to be one of the things that people love the most about the channel and of course with loading wars having to change its name to loading kings because of the silly algorithm and all the PC based stuff going on on YouTube right now there was a bit of an exodus with that as well and with the COPPA thing. So all of these, you know, all of these factors above are driving me, uh, you know, a little crazy and trying to figure out ways to make the YouTube channel still work and be fun for me, right? Because that's what it's always been about was my RC adventure. And if you guys wanted to watch along, I always encouraged it. And look at how far we've come together. Hey, we've seen things reinvented on this show so many times. I think that's why we keep coming back. So if you're you're not getting notifications or if you're noticing that it's not my videos aren't appearing on your subs feed or it isn't being in your watch category please write to YouTube and let them know um, because there's nothing we can do on our side we have done all of that stuff already and they keep keep saying well just try to get more subscribers and I can tell you right now we have gained like 30 to 60 thousand subscribers every single month for years and we never really see the videos go up up in views so they always do well while they're hanging around and the algorithm recommends them and then people discover us but I don't think really our videos go out to the subscribers the way YouTube says they're supposed to or the notification bell or any of that stuff but you know what let's forget about that and pop the battery in okay battery is in it made a beep off camera and the light turned on that's a good sign Probably should turn on my radio first since I'm beginning to think there is no on off switch here. Let's see, is that the case? Oh, I hear a pump working. Let's see, where are the lights? Switch, 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 no lights. Maybe the lights only come on when there is sound. Oh yeah, let's start it up. Now does the lights work? No lights. Okay, what's up with that? Oh, look at the smoothness of the bucket. 
Oh yeah, so nice. Maybe the lights are the other side. Oh. Oh, it was the other side. Look, the lights are on. It's this top button right here on either side. Oh, cool. And then off. Those are flashing. It's not that you're just seeing the, the camera. Wow. Oh. This one. It's the same sound kit as in the uh, Volvo rock truck. I got to put this down on the ground. This is fantastic. Well, hold on. I'll put it on the tripod first. That way you can see it. A lot of people are probably wondering why I got a white one. But simply, my collection is fantastic already. I've been collecting RCs for more than a decade. And I've never really been able to afford the very expensive European uh, RCs that are hydraulic. Because they, they get to be like $20,000 per item. And I could just, I could never justify that. Wow. God, the boys are gonna love this in YouTube Gold and in Loading Wars. I am so excited. You bet you can hear it in my voice. <laughs> yeah, let's put it down on the ground, have a good look at it. Wow, look at the bucket capacity on this. It's enormous. This is the largest bucket we have in the studio, guys. I have to tell you, and I've got some big buckets here as well. But look at this. Fantastic. Everything's set up properly. You pull down on the stick, you push up on the stick, and then you got the curl left and right. Now everything is set up on the radio. Basically all the motion is on this side. And being an articulating vehicle, you only need to push it to the side once and then it's turned, right? Sorry about the focus issues. Wow, I cannot believe this machine. It looks fantastic. I wonder who's gonna be fighting over it to use first at the studio in Loading Kings, right? Or who it's, who's gonna to try to claim it for uh, YouTube Gold. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in today. I know I was babbling throughout the video, but it gives you a little bit of information on where we're coming from. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the show. And let me ask you, it's very rare that I ever ask any of the audience to do anything but if you love uh, YouTube gold and if you love RC adventures please talk to your friends about it share our videos spend some time telling others about it so they can discover the show too have some fun maybe be inspired and to get outside and have fun with RC guys thank you so much from us here at the studio we always say go and have some fun and we'll see you in the next episode bye for now Woo! Yeah!